Okay, I think we're live. All right. Um, so today is today is twentieth April, twenty twenty. Uh, two weeks into circuit break, and uh, today we're very happy to have one of our urban agents, uh, Tina Lee, uh, to join us today to kind of talk about how's the market and uh, actually uh, more. We will focus more a little bit more on uh, you know Chinese um, buyers. Um, cause Tina actually has a lot of experience, um, with Chinese clients. Um, but anyway, be before I go there, maybe Tina, you can, you can share a little bit about yourself, uh, with, with the viewers. Yeah. Hello. Uh, my name is Tina and I'm from ERA. I've been in this trade for five years and mm -hmm. previously I was working in FedEx as a credit collections manager, mm -hmm. uh, a total change of dimension in work, but I find it very fulfilling as an agent mm -hmm. because, uh, so many things that I can do beyond my scope of Mm. For us, I... the corporate world, you know, there's a lot of uh, standard operating guides. You can't go too much above. Uh, whereas as an agent, there's a lot of things that is within my uh, control to do. Mm. Got it. And, and um, you know, as I mentioned just now, you, you actually have a, you know, pretty big uh, uh, client base actually from China. Uh, yes. How did that get started in the first place? Because I understand you, you are not the strongest with Mandarin. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. In fact, um, yesterday I just published an article in um, the official WeChat media. Mm -hmm. uh, it was written by a customer of mine. Uh, mm -hmm. When I read it, I was pretty um, touched because uh, mm -hmm. she mentioned exactly the same thing. She says that mm -hmm. uh, my Mandarin is is not there, but somehow mm -hmm. we managed to get along. So mm -hmm. uh, I think it's it's a chemistry of magic. That makes mm. two person interact. It's not just about language. Mm. Got it. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, anyway, thank thanks for uh, and we, we later on actually we're gonna go in a lot deeper about like uh, I I think there are a lot of very uh, interesting insights you have because you you're on the ground all the time and you deal with China, so many Chinese clients. Um, but before we go there, right? Uh, I think uh, oh, well you, you're very humble. You didn't mention and I forgot to mention that just now. Actually, Tina is is a top top agent. Um, you know, uh, and we are very lucky to have Tina to, to join the Urban Agents program, but she's actually been, um, I think the top 10 agents uh, in Yao A, one of the biggest agency in Singapore uh, for the past uh, few years. So, uh, you know, when I say top, as in top 10, yeah. So she <laughs> she's killing it, uh, that's so. Uh, so anyway, so, um, uh, you know, that's why I think it would be so interesting to have you on and, and to share because you, you actually, even though you, 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 you appear so like down to earth and all that, but actually you've been killing it in the market. Uh, uh, but anyway, so maybe just to start off this whole uh, conversation, right? I think, I think it's, it's, it's good to give some context of, you know, like I said, today is 20th um, uh, April, right? And to see where we are, because, you know, obviously the world today is a very different world from just a couple of um, months ago. So let me just start off with this, chat okay tina can you see see, see the chat <laughs> on your end yes okay cool so actually uh, you know a lot uh one two weeks ago i actually did a video um because you know since all, all of us are kind of like a uh socket breaker right, at home right so nothing better to do so i, I have been uh throwing up a couple of videos and, and this particular one that i did was about how looking back in some of the data uh transaction data and to see how singapore real estate market act have actually uh, reacted to past crisis. So here, what we're seeing is the top side is actually um, um, the median price per square foot um, uh, for all the resale private transactions. So resale, no new, no, no new sale. And then, and then below are all the resale uh, numbers on, on a monthly basis. So as you can see, you know it, it's 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 bumpy, and then you know, but it's been going up the general trend. Um, but what I want to highlight here is. During the Asian financial crisis, you know, things were really bad, right? And really have a pretty severe drop. I think almost like, uh, it's almost like one, you know, easily 25, 30% um, drop. And then, um, uh, but, you know, slowly kind of recover uh, up in two years time. And then the next one was SARS, which is, I guess, psychologically a big thing for a lot of Singaporeans. But actually, if you look at the um, the actual market data um, it, it is like a non-event, right? I mean, prices rarely dropped, uh, transaction didn't really drop. And then you have your global financial crisis, uh, you know, beginning in 2008. And that was really quite severe. Um, but I guess because of all the 
you know, stimulus packages and, uh, you know, around the world, not just in Singapore, um, that, that actually, if you again look at the, uh, at least the, the private transaction resale market, yes, there's a steep drop, but there was also a very steep, steep uh, climb, right, uh, after that. And, you know, you can see the transaction really recover very, very strongly on very, very healthy prices from there. And then, you know, we went through this uh, pretty healthy increase, um, in fact, very significant increase uh, up till, you know, uh, around the 2014 period where for, for the past uh, five or so years, uh, it's been like that. So, and then now today we are April, 2020, right? Uh, coronavirus, COVID-19. So, um, and I, I think this, this chart gives a good backdrop of where we are currently in time. Um, and we're going to come back to COVID-19 and what you think, you know, Tina, what you think about COVID-19 later on. Um, but maybe before we go there, right, I do want to come back to, uh, I actually have a lot of questions uh, to you about uh, your Chinese clients, right? Um, you know, and, and I think that's, uh, I mean, you, you are really on the ground talking to clients all the time. And uh, I think you have very, very interesting insights and stories to share. So uh, let, let's just go there first and then we will slowly move back to COVID-19. So, um, Actually, how, you know, to start with, right, what would you say, why do the Chinese from China want to buy a property in Singapore? Yeah, let's just start with that first. Yeah. Okay, um, basically, uh, if you try to tell a China person that um, come buy a property in Singapore, um, mm -hmm. you, it's good investment, they will laugh at you because Singapore <laughs> market is always stable. Okay, the mm -hmm. rice doesn't come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of control measures, like you know, you can't sell um, within three uh, three years. If not, there's taxes and all that. Mm -hmm. um, so in China, it's different. You buy today, next year mm -hmm. you sell, you probably have a double. Mm -hmm. But why they buy? Um, because Singapore is stable financially. Mm -hmm. um, come because of their children's education. Um, they would like to set up a company in Singapore. Because mm -hmm. as I mentioned, it's not stable, right? So mm -hmm. these are some of the reasons why they prefer to own properties in a country which is stable. Um, mm -hmm. Our government is also very open, very transparent. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do, uh, it, is, it is updated. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. even times when they receive negative comments and all that, but at least mm -hmm. they know that everything is on the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that makes it um, good for them to come. And mm. the, the point is actually a lot of customers, they come because of child's education. Uh, Singapore is actually the stepping stone to countries mm. like US and to UK. Because um, to teach them English. Close. Okay, I yeah, see. Right. A nice transition. So really, yeah, mm. so it's very close to home and uh, mm. our universities are also well known top. And mm -hmm. just like in, in China, if they want to go to the best university, which is in Tsinghua, Mm. Uh, it's like maybe 10% of the whole market. Whereas in Singapore, mm. um, our university is of higher grades um, mm -hmm. and it's easier, much easier to come in. But the bottom mm -hmm. line is that the English becomes the main medium for communication. Mm. I see. So really for their, for, for their future generation, for the kids, uh, and you know, for that reason, that's why they, they start of thinking of the housing needs, I guess. Um, so, okay. So, so in effect, what you're saying is that they don't think of it as buying a house to make money per se, but buying a house, um, at least it's safe, right? And, and, and it's transparent. Um, in that regard, I mean, do you, do you sometimes have to, like, you know, do they sometimes ask you, hey, uh, why should I park money in Singapore versus say park money in Hong Kong, let's say, or some other countries, uh, yeah. They used to park in Hong Kong, but, mm -hmm. uh, because of the, uh, um, especially because of the um, this the country, um, remember last year they were reacting and there was mm. a lot of order mm. and all that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fearful and uh, in fact, Singapore and Hong Kong we are on um, almost equal ground when it comes mm. to finance. Mm -hmm. um, it's either we are number two or they are number two, mm. um, but because of the Hong Kong activities, mm -hmm. um, they found that at least Singapore is a much more controlled island. Mm. Our government is pretty uh, strict mm -hmm. and will not tolerate such activities. Mm, I see. So from a safety perspective, um, that, that's what they consider as well. 
Mm. All right, because Singapore is pretty safe in the sense mm. that um, there's a lot of law and order. Mm. Um, you, you want to do things, there's no way of shortcut. Mm. You have to follow one, two, three uh, in accordance to the law. Mm. So Got they it. find it, um, although they, they sometimes find that, hey, why Singaporeans do things so slow? But at the end, <laughs> they, they know yeah. that it's stable and it can be mm. trusted. Mm. So it's very important that they know their long-term investment mm. is stable and mm. will be there in 10 years time. Got it. I see. I see. And, and uh, I mean, you mentioned just now, obviously, you know, the stamp duty here is no joke la, <laughs> for, for foreigners. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, is that a big mental block for them or, or how, how, how do they think of this uh, huge? I, I mean, I'm assuming they, they, they think that it's, it's big. La. I mean, yes. be typical? Um, mm. Typically, to a customer, it's very simple. When mm. I buy a property, right? Mm -hmm. Will it rise or will it drop? Mm. Uh, they know that for sure Singapore property will not rise tremendously if mm. you want to sell a night sale. Mm. But come with time, it will rise. Mm. However, um, we were talking about um, the stamp duty. Mm. Um, it's, it's a very simple equation. When you buy something, you add in the tax. Just mm. like if you buy an apple, you add in the GST already, right? If, mm -hmm. if, if the apple is $2, mm. would you buy or not? So mm. you, you don't actually... In a big picture nutshell, you don't put the price of the unit and the price of the tax separately. It comes mm. together. Mm. So to them, if I'm going to buy a $2 million property, I see. you add it up together, is it worth a buy? Mm. If, if the taxes are low, for sure the developers will mark up the price. So <laughs> it's a left pocket or right pocket, right? Uh, I see. Um, I, and I suppose, yeah, I mean, I totally get what you mean. Like uh, basically... You, you, you look at things in totality, right? Um, yes. Especially with such a big per purchase. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure, I guess they, they compare, you know, with prices back home. Uh, yeah. When they do that, what's their usual comment about Singapore prices? Um, if you compare prices in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, mm -hmm. we have to take these three countries because um, they are the more... Um, a light country with us, meaning that mm -hmm. they are uh, business countries. Mm -hmm. You can see that their prices there per uh, square foot is much more expensive than in Singapore. So mm. to them, Singapore being a small country, mm. and uh, right now our population is at 5.63, mm -hmm. um, and we intend to, to build up our population by 6.9 million, right? How mm -hmm. much land do we have? Mm. So ultimately, what is the demand going to be like for houses? Mm, so mm. it's a very simple equation to them and they're not going to sell tomorrow. Mm. So they are also waiting for the time where property is, is then needed. And mm, back mm. to that, uh, we're also talking about those China students that come to Singapore. Mm. A lot of parents are renting units. Mm. So if the child came at the age of, uh, let's say nine, mm -hmm. they still have like at least uh, 10 more years in Singapore, are they going to pay rent for 10 years? To mm. them, it's better to throw that money into a property. Uh, the rental I then see. becomes the mortgage payment. So, mm. okay. uh, it's a no-brainers, you know, uh, kind mm. of uh, talk uh, that I'd rather own my house. I can do whatever I want with the house mm. rather than I'm at the mercy of a landlord. Mm. I so, see. we have two, two, mm. two types of customers that come in. Uh, mm. One, investors, which they only want to have a stable income uh, in mm. future. Meanwhile, they rent out what they can to mm. help pay partial of the mortgage loan. And mm. you have another kind of uh, people that's buying, which is for their own stay. Mm. Uh, I stay for 10 years. Don't tell mm. me by 10 years, the property won't rise. Mm. You know? So they save on the uh, renter in a, mm. in a way because I'm mm. they're going to pay renter. You just mm. take 2005 a mm -hmm. month and mm -hmm. times that 10 years, how much that's going to be? Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. And uh, what is the typical split, would you say? I mean, between those like homestay and, and investment, roughly speaking, I mean, among the Chinese uh, buyers, the China. Um, I would say it's a 50-50 it's a because we Hapa. do have a lot okay. of students. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. Got it. I um, see. I see. Okay, cool. How about, I mean, it's, it's also coming back, so you, you were saying just now that 
uh, when they compare prices here with prices back home, they think, oh, wow, this is so cheap, you know, even with the yeah. stamp duty. So, right. and then because they are, they are really thinking when they buy a home in Singapore, mm-hmm. by default, it's a long-term investment. So they're actually quite comfortable even with the stamp duty, right? Uh, knowing that it's safe, they're, they're not looking for speculative returns. Uh. Um, yes, right. How about the currency exposure? I mean, they, they do think of things in renminbi, right? Um, do they have any concern typically with the Sing dollar? No, uh, basically, uh, Sing dollar is pretty stable. So, mm-hmm. uh, at point of calculation, right, uh, they know that the fluctuation is not very high. Uh, mm-hmm. Neither is the Sing currency too high in that sense compared mm-hmm. to um, US, um, compared to the taxes that they would not need to pay if they uh, sell away their units. Mm-hmm. So, to them, is that it is a total profit or loss they, they, they can they can really look at it that way if there's a profit there's not going to be any taxes because mm. there's no profit tax in singapore unlike mm. australia mm-hmm. uh, uk uh, mm. us after mm. sale right they still mm. have to pay a portion to the government for tax mm. 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 Uh, but i mean but that that will be calculated in sing dollars term uh. um, um but but i mean it seems that what you're saying is that they they, uh, I mean, it's, it's rarely a concern for them, sing dollars. Yeah. Uh, okay, got it. I see. Cool. Um, so it sounds like it's, it's, it's a fairly easy sale then. <laughs> Do you ever have to, uh, you know, um, I mean, when, when you talk to these Chinese, like let's say prospective clients, right? Not, not your client yet, but thinking about like, uh, what you mentioned are all very fairly positive stuff, lah, right? Um, but, are there usually any like lingering things that they will they'll still be hey, you know that, that you need to kind of explain a little bit more? I mean, definitely we have to do that. Uh, if mm. they're parting with uh, tons of money, right? Um, mm-hmm. uh, there are some uh, things at the back of their mind, but mm. I, I think the the most rational thing is don't sell mm. because once you have that mind that you are not selling. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that already take out the stigma of, hey, this person is trying to push me something. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's very important that we sit down, talk to them, uh, really understand what they want, mm-hmm. um, bring them around um, to see exactly what is available in Singapore. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we talk about building a friendship, building a network with them. Mm-hmm. Got so it. then the rest falls into place. Got it, yeah. And I mean, I understand that, you know, you, you actually kind of took a pretty long break uh, last year because yeah. uh, yeah. you, you, you did so well the, 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 the previous few years. Um, took a break. I mean, a well-deserved one. Uh, but actually, you, you spent most of that break back in China, right? Yes, yes. And how, how was that like? Okay, in, in Chinese, there's uh, two things that is very important. Mm-hmm. One is guanxi, which is networking, mm-hmm. right? Sure. Second thing is uh, tenken, mm. whether uh, how sincere how, uh, mm. yeah, you are of, of them. Mm. So they have been telling me and my partner, hey, come over, come over. Uh, let us uh, give you the hospitality that you gave us when we were in Singapore. Mm. So um, we, we kept saying, okay, we are going, we are going, but we never did because we simply don't have the time. Mm. So I told my partner that, hey, it's, it's time that we will need to return them this uh, visit and mm. to better know them as individual mm. rather than as uh, business friends. Mm. So that's mm. how we uh, started going over, um, mm. saying hello to them. And, mm. and in return, and we didn't think of it, but in return, we got additional sales because mm. of networking. Mm. Yeah. So... Um, having made a lot of friends, at least I know China more, you know, and, and I can tell them that, hey, I've been to places like Pingyao, which mm-hmm. not much people go. Where is um, Pingyao? <laughs> uh, uh, it's in Sanxi. Sanxi, okay. It's, 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 uh, it's a place that uh, I never thought I would go, like, you know. I, mm-hmm. I, think, I think my next plans were actually to go to places like in the inner Mongolia and all that. Mm-hmm. And probably I will continue journey once is okay mm. um so mm. this this uh and i even wanted to go wuhan actually to visit mm. my friends because 
saw them nine years ago and mm-hmm. I thought it was a good opportunity to renew my friendships with them. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, this period, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I almost went in January, but I, oh, did, wow. I didn't. Somehow, <laughs> happened, yeah. So these are the, yeah, the, okay. the things that we tend to do. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, this COVID um, period, I, came, I, I said that, okay, I'm ready to come back um, to, to, to do sales again, you know, so that it can fund my other traveling again. Mm-hmm. But somehow it didn't make it because mm-hmm. of the COVID. But mm. I think this period of uh, two to three months, I still had got calls and um, inquiry from my China counterpart. Mm. Um, I know that they are waiting for the time mm. when it can come in because there were some trips that were cancelled in um, January and February. Mm. So they wanted to come and check out, check out the market, and and but they, they can't come basically. I see. Yeah, actually, correct. that's a very good segue to 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 COVID nineteen. Um. um you know, so so you took this long break in China, and then now you 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 want to come back guns blazing, and you know want to be, you know, I mean get all the transactions again, and then wow, you know the whole whole market yeah. kind of closed shop now, right? Yeah. So, yeah. um, and you were saying, you know, obviously some of these Chinese clients who wanted to come could no longer come. Um, how do you continue to engage them though? I mean, in the meantime, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, uh. For me, it's, it never changed because all along before they came, right, I had mm. to uh, do some uh, preparation for them, like giving them slides of projects, mm. uh, write of projects, uh, video if I have. Mm. Uh, but it is made easier now because the developers are coming up with the V360, uh, the mm. look and feel of uh, show flats. Mm. So in fact, it came to my advantage because mm. previously I had to ask permission back the developers to allow mm. me to film mm. the show flat, right? But mm. right now it's available. I can I can actually and I click send it to my customers mm. and they have a look at what mm. they, they may want. Yeah. So, so I mean actually in that sense, I mean it's the 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 bright side of this this whole COVID nineteen you know crisis that we have is is kind of the acceleration of the or or, or the adoption of some of these um tools like that uh, that used to be nice to have but now it's almost like a must have yes i mean wow yes. wow wow everyone is kind of staying at home yeah um, but i suppose right. i mean for for such a big trip purchase I, I i don't know i mean i i've heard of stories of people who just buy oh you 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 know buy without seeing right but i, I believe that's still probably mostly in the minority right <laughs> am um, i right yes it's it's a minority but it really depends on the buyer if mm. the buyer is a true investor he basically mm. doesn't care um, how the unit looks like, um, um, mm. whether it's, it's uh, pretty or not. I very see. Important thing, yeah, very important things is that how, how much uh, can you rent the unit for? How much mm-hmm. can you sell the unit in future? So mm. such investors are actually looking at context of um, transport, uh, mm. the food, the kind mm. of clientele that they mm. can. Um, example, look at Marina One. Mm-hmm. Um, it is at the smack of the CBD, uh, mm. four MRT lines below, mm. uh, food courts around, supermarket within uh, premise. Mm. So mm-hmm. these are good locations that they will invest in. Mm. Because they know that uh, with uh, people like Facebook, uh, just beside them, Mystery Bank and all that, the, mm. the rental, yield and the rental uh, demand is there. So uh, you, you have previous clients who actually literally bought virtually? You know? Yes. And yeah. Not only mm. virtually, they don't even come and collect the keys. Okay, and so you jaga everything for them? Uh, jaga pao ka liao la, as in what mm. we Hokkien say. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Have... I mean, that, that really requires, a, I guess, a tremendous sense of trust. La. Um, yeah. I mean, but, that... Um, hmm? in, Sorry, but they will have to come mm. one time to do the actual transaction. Sure. Yes, correct. Got because it, it. our lawyers in Singapore, they are mm. very prudent. Mm. Um, they will make sure that this mm. entity mm. or this person mm. really exists. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Not not some uh, random notary somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just. I mean, this is something. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a geek, right? I'm, a, I'm super as geeky as it comes, mm-hmm. and I'm a technology guy. I like to you know so. Um, 
to be frank, I mean, when I started this whole urban zoom urban agents thing, right? You know, it started off from a very very tech. Oh, how can we use tech to to make things? But but you know, the the more I I I, I interact and, and work with uh, agents like yourself, right? The more I realize actually, there's just so much that tech just can never replace. Yeah. Uh, you know, and 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 it's a. Uh, I mean, it's a very humbling thing to, for me to realize because you know I I believe so much in tech, right? And and I think. What you're saying is that, you know, technology, like let's say all this virtual tour, right? I mean, it's it's in a way because of technology that we get to use that. But I mean that people don't, I guess your clients, you know, don't ask Tina's, you know, your help to to buy multiple properties, almost sight unseen basically, <laughs> you know, just with technology. Yeah, and that's something that is very um Interesting for me, right? Uh, and, and actually, a lot of people who are not in this agency trade, um, yeah. of course, it's easy to, I mean, people like to bash about agents all the time. Uh, and certainly, there are black apples in this trade. Uh, but um, but once there's trust being built, I think that is, yeah, there's basically no technology in the world can replace that. Uh, okay, anyway, just a side, side, side thing. Uh, let's get back to a couple more questions. So, uh, so you, yeah, you were using tools and all that. Um, let's see. Uh, but so, but I mean, right now, yes, you you are using these tools and and and, and to send across it the virtual tours to them and all that. But the fact is that you yourself are also just like the rest of us, uh, are kind of you know hunker down at home, right? Uh, and all the show flats are closed as well. Um, how do I don't know how how do transactions still happen? Like like what what do you think is is the what's your view? Uh, what are you doing currently? Right. And also, what's your view in the very short term? Like, uh, you know, what's going to happen in the market? Um, there will be transactions uh, still going on because mm-hmm. there could be some customers who have already viewed. And mm-hmm. uh, right now, what they do is um, they, they confirm a sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, you probably will get one or two investors still saying that, okay, I'll go ahead and do the buy. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, probably... Um, the salesperson may, may, may want to just close the deal. Mm-hmm. Um, but my approach is a bit different because I want to make sure that my customers know what they're going into, mm-hmm. uh, what they're committing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I actually have a rather slow approach in closing. So mm-hmm. that could be my disadvantage. But mm-hmm. I'd rather have it as a win-win. Well, closer, then how do you become top? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I guess you just have a lot of clients. Though. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> no, no, it's not only a lot of clients. It's like mm-hmm. a total trust that, you know, when mm-hmm. they, they put something in your hands, mm-hmm. you know that it's not for making money. Mm-hmm. They know that I have a remuneration. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my my issue to them is mm-hmm. that as long as you do your due diligence as an agent. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, we also want to make sure that they are going into the property Mm-hmm. Uh, with their two eyes open. Mm, 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 yeah. mm, and okay. actually back to what you were saying just now about mm. uh, data and stats, right? Mm. Uh, basically, um, I'm from finance background, mm-hmm. but I, while I look at stats, I'm not a very statical person, meaning that mm. I don't drill the customers based on, you see the, the chart is saying this, the chart mm-hmm. is saying that, Mm-hmm. Because if I have that data, everybody has the same data. Mm-hmm. Um, you have the virtual tour, I also have the virtual tour. Mm-hmm. But I think my customers at the end of the day, they make a decision based on um, talking to me, um, analyzing me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's something, it's <laughs> a brand mm-hmm. name finally, that nobody has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it, so got it. While data are important, uh, the, the feeling of chemistry between the buyer and the seller is even more important. Mm, mm. I've, I've rejected um, some clo- closing sales mm. because I find that I cannot serve this customer as per what they may want. Mm. Or I find that um, this is not a deal I want because mm. it's no point to push yourself just to make some commission, right? And mm. at the end of the day, both parties just don't work out. It doesn't mm. work in that way. Mm. Got it. Yeah. Okay. That's great. Uh, so, I mean, then I guess my, my, my last question now, right. It's, it's again, I mean, you, you, uh, now that you are, you are staying at home, <laughs> how are you kind of maximizing your, your time? Uh, now that you can't, you can't do too much home. You can't do any home view. Uh, 
basically, right? Yeah. Uh, how are you spending your time? Yeah. Okay. Many will say I'm a very laid back person, meaning that I've been very busy for the last three and a half years. Mm -hmm. um, my first two years in uh, property, I was actually a part-time agent. Mm -hmm. I was still doing full-time job and I literally worked like um, maybe 16 to 17 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Very, very drained out. And uh, eventually I got into full-time. Mm -hmm. And bearing in mind the first two years when I was full-time in FedEx, mm -hmm. um, I was also clocking as a top agent in ERA. Mm -hmm. That's so incredible. Imagine my exhaustion, right? Mm -hmm. Then when I came full time to uh, property, I thought that I have more time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because part time I cope, then full time I should have more time, right? But mm -hmm. actually, I had even lesser time because of the time I spent with individual customers. Mm -hmm. So when I went to China, I mean, it was like a part holiday and part mm -hmm. knowing customers, but the traveling was also draining me out. Mm. Uh, and you are not that young anymore. Mm, 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 mm. So, in mm. fact, when I came back, I mean, in in uh, you look at bright things of life, right? Mm. I felt that hey, suddenly I have a break, a really mm. total break, uh, <laughs> able to sit down and think about what I want. Okay. Um, but neither am I too free because I still keep myself connected to my overseas customer. Mm -hmm. And for those in Singapore, especially those pay to mama, they mm. need help. So mm. I would actually make sure that uh, they have masks, mm. uh, they have food, you know. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. It's, it's a lot of running. Um, mm. I can't visit them anymore. Mm. Um, mm. So what I do is I, I still need to make sure that deliveries are done to them. Mm. Uh, mm. You grab and all that. But mm. um, they, they message me every day asking about this and asking about that. Mm. Uh, some of them are very... Uh, worried and paranoid, especially with the dormitories uh, virus mm. coming up, right? Mm. So some of them even say they want to go back now because mm. they are worried. China is mm. getting better. So these mm. are some mind counseling that I have to do with them. So mm. um, I feel I feel great in the sense that I'm able to make a difference in their life. Mm. So mm. it also lets me uh, be more at home. I have mm. time now for my children. Uh, my mm. son just came back from camp after mm. two weeks there. Oh wow! Uh, have more okay. time with dogs, you know. So mm. I find it, it more a balanced life mm. now. I'm still mm. doing marketing online, mm. um, so I I felt that I have more time now. Mm. It's, it's, mm. it's a opener to me to tell me that hey, things happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. That's great, man. And and I think it's uh, it's really commendable that you know you 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 clearly make a effort right i mean to to just not be not so-called transactional but you know you you you're you're yeah <laughs> you 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 do everything for your client that that's really i mean and i think that's how we build the trust right ultimately um yeah. and michael if if you have time tonight and you walk mm -hmm. around uh, your house downstairs right if mm -hmm. you look up the strange thing is that i haven't seen such bright stars for a long long time mm -hmm. yesterday i i during my walk i was shocked because mm. it's a lot less light. I saw the stars, yes. Mm. Mm. So, so actually, this lock in so called, right, mm. has split our environment a lot too. Mm. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, very interesting uh, time to. I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, I, you know, I, I get to spend a lot more time with my son. Yeah, that, that's, uh, yeah. even though he's very, very disruptive to my work, you know, every time <laughs> I record a video halfway to here, you know, he'll come in, even now I was very scared that he would just, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. But uh, anyway, thank you so much, you know, for the chat, you know, I think it's, uh, it, it's great in you know, what you shared and um, uh, yeah, let's do another one of this, you know, maybe, you know, sometime in the future. Yeah. And uh, okay. in the meanwhile, stay safe, you know, and yeah, We'll, we'll talk soon, Tina. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.